Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel to another cybersecurity versus software engineering video. And as you can tell, our camera lens is a little bit wider because we recently got a new camera. So hopefully you can see both of us better now. But today's video is just going to be a very casual career conversation okay. um, about how we're doing, especially with you know performance reviews and tech recession and layoffs and everything like that. So clearly right now is not the best time to be intact all the rounds of layoffs and you know like for me i do feel like both the guilt of surviving the layoff but also anxiety looking at the future because like a lot of companies announcing like they're gonna have another round of layoff you can really feel the stress at work and uh, i would say like i kind of feel it a little bit too but besides that still very happy that i'm still lucky enough to hide my current role and you know, definitely job is getting a lot more busy because everyone's trying to, you know, do really, really well so they don't have this uh, lower ratings. Yeah, I would say the same thing. My company had, I guess you would call it a small layoff, but it was really for like a specific area of our company. So even though it didn't impact my team necessarily, there's definitely always that feeling of, I guess, dread that comes with, oh, yeah. there was one and is there going to be another? And, you know, these things change really fast. So even if there isn't necessarily an acknowledgement that there's going to be another layoff, there's always that in the back of your head, I guess, when you think about, you know, going yeah. into your career and especially with the recession and more people talking about how bad it's going to get. I mean, even a few months from now, this could look so different for, for sure. where we're at, at a, as a company. And obviously it looks a little bit different for us mm -hmm. because like one side of the tech recession is layoffs and the other side of it is you know, the other side of the coin, which is looking for new jobs and being in the job market. Yeah. And I have heard that just being in the job market right now is very tough because we're lucky enough to still be able to be working in our full-time jobs. Mm -hmm. We haven't even experienced that whole other half yeah, of things. I do not want to experience that if I yeah. can. The competition is definitely very mm -hmm. fierce. Yeah, I would say it's probably the hardest for students who are graduating this year, mm -hmm. as well as students who have graduated even in the last one or two years yep. that maybe weren't able to graduate with a job off or maybe their job offer got rescinded yeah. and now they're kind of in this limbo where they're applying to entry level jobs but now they're competing with this new batch <laughs> yeah. of students I know. who are graduating and then also looking for jobs yeah another thing i want to add on is like yeah they're not only doing layoff like within the company they're also like you know tightening the budgets mm -hmm. like they oh, want to yeah. cut down the benefits like you know remove some sort of perks so yeah like officially the golden days of like working in big techs is almost like at the end it feels like like a lot of perks for working even remotely got removed so it's you can really tell the company is like cutting down these benefits and you know you probably don't expect like a huge raise as well because like the company is trying to save budgets like you know like not laying you off is already like such a big bonus for a lot of cases so right it's kind yeah. of like your bonus is that you're, you're keeping your you job. You keep your job, I know. I would say like company knows, like you're not gonna leave, like no one else is hiring. So mm -hmm. they can be a little more strategic about how they want to allocate their cash. We are really experienced it. Yeah, I think that's a good point to make because of the fact that the job market is so competitive right now, less people are leaving their current jobs to look for something else because again with the recession if you know you join a new company and they have a layoff a few weeks later then you could be you know one of the first people on the list to get yeah. cut as well as just like the rescinding of offers and hiring freezes that could happen you know while you're in the middle of that interview stage and even just after you already got your offer if a hiring freeze is added you may or may not be able to still onboard mm -hmm. so a lot of people are just playing it safe and not looking for new jobs right now so that yeah. also gives employers that they're currently at kind of more of a reason to you know not have to give a big bonus which you know at the end of the day because there's a recession your bonus may not have been significantly you know more anyway but yeah. it's just some things to keep in mind for sure i would say like one thing definitely like keep in mind is like don't overwork and still trying to keep your mental health very healthy because mm -hmm. i know like a lot of big tech companies they, are, they made an announcement they want to make this performance review cycle like they want to make it more competitive and it will take you a lot more to get like a you know meets mm. all so like you know this really creates an environment where like you know you are forced to kind of like do a lot more and take on actual responsibility because like everyone's under stress you don't want to get fired you want to keep it going i feel like this type of work is kind of similar to like the beginning of the pandemic where we kind of weren't sure like where we are heading towards like people want to over work because like they want to yeah. show like they're online they're mm -hmm. not slacking so i feel like that's something like we're gonna see a lot as a result from this like i feel like more burnout is gonna happen like maybe more people are gonna leave to tech because of this i think in general a lot of people left tech during the beginning of the pandemic specifically women and minority groups in tech because they had to take care of their families or um, other family obligations that they had to deal with and a lot of people left the workforce and i wonder if that is going to continue being a trend um going into you know this 
yeah. next or can this continuing tech recession i guess but maybe one thing to discuss is kind of how that promotion cycle went for us so yeah in terms of performance reviews at this time i haven't actually had my official end of year review yet you know that meeting with your manager that actually yeah. talks about everything um but i have submitted all of my goals and my performance things but for the <laughs> most part um because my company doesn't follow the calendar year it becomes kind of like a delayed yeah. process i guess but again it depends on your company and what they are doing mm -hmm. um because even in my previous company we were also we were following the calendar year but i didn't get any like end of year performance or um, bonuses or anything until april so wow. yeah. yeah so i didn't see that anyway until it was a thing so i think that's something to note but I don't have that much to share, but I know that my company's performance reviews or the bonuses are based on not only your performance, mm -hmm. but the performance of the company. Yeah. So even if I get and exceeds expectations or whatever the equivalent is, if my company doesn't meet requirements or goals, I wouldn't get that second half anyway. So that's yeah. something to note. But of course, this depends on your company. Yeah, one thing I just don't like, why is the end of the year bonus like in March or April? If you leave before you get it, it's kind of like you, you forfeit it. Just to be full transparent, like I work on like a zero to one type of a project the project got a lot busier and i start working longer and longer hours and as you get more momentum you just keep picking on tasks and keep doing stuff and uh yeah i would say like i work like a solid like almost 60 hours a week and so like for a period of time like maybe even now like i'm still working a very aggressive amount of hours because like you know now everyone's more stressed we want to show off that uh show off i say but more so like keeping our job i recently found out about my reading from previous half based on like you know all these raw hours and project delivering like it was a very pretty good rating so i would say like it really shows like you really have to start doing a lot to get good rating and the good days of like people say like oh you can just do the bare minimum and cruise like that may not be the case anymore yeah it definitely seems more competitive in general for ratings because you're not just competing with your team you're also competing with you know yeah. the other sub teams in your department i know a lot of companies do like stack ranking so it's kind of like a curve like they want to make sure certain percentage of the people are at each of the ratings so that makes it so like other teams are like you know fighting each other in a way like selling their people like which rating they, they belong to so there's always someone who's going to be at the need improvement sections and uh, that's just pretty unfortunate personally i think it's also a very like toxic practice because Could be especially sure. depending on how you know cutthroat the environments are yeah. but I've heard of people who worked in workplaces with stack ranking and mm -hmm. like people aren't willing to be as helpful or share yeah. as many resources with new people on the team because this person could potentially be a competitor in terms of keeping their job. And mm -hmm. it's not necessarily that person's fault, but it's more so just the overall system of stack ranking. I'm sure there are healthy ways to have that implemented, but oftentimes it seems to be, yeah, not the best. Yeah, so I would say like right now, I'm uh, in a pretty good state. And if you follow my channel, you saw one of my videos, I named it like, you know, do you have to be passionate to enjoy your job? Like, I mm -hmm. think for me, like I am working a lot of hours, but I have a lot of passion. Like I kind of enjoy the project I'm working on and the technology in my eye, you know, can carry forward. So it's not like, oh yeah, I'm working hard at this job, but I see it as like I'm constantly improving myself, my skill. So in the future, if I want to, you know, switch jobs or build a startup, like, you know, these technology skills that I used can still be carried forward. Because of that mindset, I feel like, you know, it's a lot easier. And then, you know, like I enjoy my work a lot more. Of course, like constant deadline can still put a toll on you, but I've been meditating. <laughs> so like, I hope that's uh, something that's kind of balanced it out. So I would say like overall, I feel pretty good. Doesn't Luca just look really happy right now? Like he's just so happy to be here. Mm -hmm. um, maybe out of a 10, I think I'm at like a seven. So I'm not doing, you know, too bad in terms of stress or burnout, but I would say at the beginning of this year, mm -hmm. I was definitely a lot more stressed. Yeah. And we're also getting just like more projects at work. So yeah. it's just been a lot on my plate that I mm -hmm. hadn't had in the past, as well as just like leading different things that I yeah. probably wouldn't have touched, you know, um, at my level at least um, mm -hmm. in a different role. So I do think that there's a lot of opportunity to kind of learn new things and pick up new yeah. skills, but also just like getting to work with other people in different teams that I am, have never worked with before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think those are some yeah. of the plus sides. I, I guess you should always weigh out like the pros and For cons sure. of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like even though I'm getting busier, I still think that there's a learning opportunity there. Yeah. But that also doesn't mean that I, you know, will want to stay in like a stressed state for long periods of time. Exactly, um, exactly. I personally take my work-life balance very seriously mm -hmm. so if i'm feeling burned out or upset or you know things are getting too much at some point then i'm going to have to start you know stepping back and For sure. seeing what i need to do yeah which is probably like 
most people out there now. Yeah, I mean, for yeah. me, like, I still feel like mentally stressed because, like, you can mm -hmm. only think so much about these works. Like, no joke. Like nowadays, like for a lot of people, like working forty hours a week, it's just like you know the raw hour. You may not actually be working the whole time. Mm -hmm. But for me, in the past like few weeks, even month, like. When I say like I work 60 hours, it's actually like almost exactly 60 hours of actually coding or like resolving things. I try to not be stressed at all time. I try to, you know, be optimistic about it. But I definitely need to like take a step back and just like, you know, evaluate my work-life balance better. Because like, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think this is something that you should still take exactly. care of even during, you know, recession and... Yeah, all especially. These, yeah. Yeah. All these talks because your overall stress, because if you're stressed at work, and then you're also stressed externally because you're yeah. worrying about keeping your job or like being able to do the work that you do mm -hmm. then it's kind of just like a double impact where yeah. like there's not really an escape from yeah. like your day-to-day -day at work so yeah like whether you're working remotely or in the office i think this is going to impact you either way for sure you are definitely the most important thing jobs comes after that so definitely take care of yourself yeah health is definitely very important so yeah guys i would say definitely like for me it's like a hate and love relationship right now like always hearing these layoff no one likes to hear it like you know it pushes you to like a um, productive territory because like how can you be productive when you think like your company gonna fire you like why are you even working yeah. if you're just gonna lose your job yeah it's definitely like a hard time and even if you survive the layoff you might have survivor skill it's just like overall not the best time to be in tech i feel like but i'm still optimistic about like the long-term future of tech as we can all see like the gbt technology like applied ai machine learning is going to be huge in the near future that's only going to create more opportunities mm -hmm. so i think right now it's definitely like we get into the bottom if now we're already at the bottom i think in the near future like we're slowly going to recover and uh, have a brighter if you are someone who's like currently worrying about being laid off or mm -hmm. having job security learning new skills or like taking new certification or taking a course online for something new that you haven't done before will definitely be very helpful yeah. especially if maybe you want to go into a different area you can definitely use this as an opportunity to for sure then kind of like take some time on the weekends or during your days off to be able to learn those new things and at least come out on top even you know out of a bad situation all right so that's it for this video let us know if you guys have any questions in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out luca's channel that is also linked in my description he makes videos on all things software engineering working in fang big tech so definitely Maybe check that travel. out <laughs> oh yeah and travel tba all right so thank you guys so much for watching again if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and turn on post notifications i post videos every wednesdays and sundays at 12 p.m and luca posts videos every wednesday and saturday and hopefully we'll see you guys in our next videos bye, bye.